hi all my friends. <clears throat> uh, thank you so much for your prayers and comments. And I want to say, hey, we reached 160 subscribers. Wow. <laughs> Praise God. So, um, um, a lot, lot of things going on. But um, as you know, I've been ill with this respiratory thing. I think, you know, the devil just tries to get us each any way that they can. Um, I really believe that uh, there's a lot more spiritual warfare going on. And as things increase, it's going to increase uh, as well. Any of the uh, Pauline letters speaks about this very clearly. Um, and um, so I, I think that that might be part of it as well. Um, <clears throat> uh, I am going to try to go to work and and see if I see how I fare and um, so you know uh, pray and wish me luck so um, anyway I wanted to get going on reading the Bible um, but before I do of course there's a few things going on um, first of all happy resurrection day yesterday that those of you who celebrated I don't celebrate Easter because of the whole, you know, pagan thing. Um, but um, I do think about our Lord's resurrection and and his, um, you know, um, why he went to the cross and how he overcame uh, everything. And, uh, you know, and did it in uh, such a fashion that not even the devil would know, <laughs> you know, how to stop him. And, um, you know, hit a, you know, home run on that one for sure. Um, so, um, and am blessed every day knowing that that's what he sacrificed. And what the cross means for me is his enduring mercy and love for us. Um, and, um, and I'm grateful every day for that. Um, <clears throat> So, okay, um, what else? Uh, I think I already told you about Howard Storm coming out with his second book. Um, and um, he, he's still looking for a publisher. I haven't heard if he's gotten one yet. But hopefully I'll be, uh, I'll send him a, a, an email in a little while and uh, and see what's going on with that. And um, um, politically, not anything that I really want to talk about. Um, I'm just, you know. What our news shows us is just, it's not even worth talking about. Um, so let's get on with it before I lose my voice here. I don't know how I'm going to do this at work, but we'll, we'll see. Um, <clears throat> I do a lot of talking at work. And... Um, Hopefully, uh, it'll all work out. So, I believe that the last place that we stopped at was um, chapter 26 of Second Chronicles. And, let's see if I can get some light here on the subject. Here we go. A little key. Okay. Hopefully, I got the right place. Okay, so um, Uzzah succeeds Amazah and reigns well in the days of Zechariah. His buildings, his host, and the engines for war. He invades the priest's office and is smitten with leprosy, his death, etc. Okay, so when all the people of Judah took Uzzah, who was 16 years old, and made him king in the room of his father, Amazah, he built Eloth and restored it to Judah. After that, the king slept with his fathers. Sixteen years old was Uzzah when he began to reign, and he reigned fifty and two years in Jerusalem. His mother's name also was Jecolaah of Jerusalem. Sorry. Um, and when he did that, which was right in the sight of the Lord, according to all that his father 
Amaziah did. And he sought God in the days of Zechariah, Zechariah, who had understanding in the visions of God, and long as he sought the Lord, God made him to prosper. And he went forth and warred against the Philistines and broke down the wall of Gath and the wall of Jab Jabmin and the wall of Ashdod, built cities about Ashdod and among the Philistines. And God helped him against the Philistines and against the um, Arabians and dwelt in Gerbaal and the Ming hung in hymns. And the Amorites gave gifts to Uzzah his name spread abroad even to the entering of Egypt, for he strengthened himself exceedingly. Moreover, Uzzah built towers in Jerusalem at the corner gate and the valley gate and turning of the wall and fortified them. And he built towers in the desert and digged many wells, for he had much cattle, both in the low country and in the plains, Husbandmen also in the vine dressers in the mountains and in Carmel, for he loved husbandry, agriculture. Moreover, Uzzah had an host of fighting men and went out to war by bands, according to the number of their accounts by the hands of Jael, uh, the scribe, and Manasseh, uh, the ruler, under the hand of Hananiah one of the king's captains. The whole number of the chief of the fathers of the mighty men of valor were 2,600, and under their hand was an army, 300,000, 7,500, and made war with the mighty power to help the king against the enemy. And Uzzah prepared for them throughout all the host shields, spears, helmets, habergons, bows, and slings to cast stones. And he made in Jerusalem engines invented by cunning men to be on the towers and upon the bulwarks to shoot arrows and great stones with, with all. And his name spread far and abroad, for he was marvelously helped until he was strong. Now, the, these machines flung stones. They were, you know, like the first, like gavel and... Um, it, you could, you know, um, uh, on History Channel or whatever, you'll see these things that were actually made or so he, could, you know, remakes these things that they were really very efficient um, for, for all you guys out there, you know. Anyway, um, now I lost my place. Sorry. Helped him until he was strong. Okay, but then he, when he was strong, his heart was lifted up to his destruction. For he transgressed against the Lord his God and went to the temple of the Lord to burn incense upon the altar of incense. And Aziah, uh, the priest, went in after him and with him fourscore priests of, uh, of the Lord that were valiant men. And they withstood Uzzah the king and said to him, It is apparent that not unto thee, Uzzah, to burn incense unto the Lord, but to the priests of the sons of Aaron who are the consecrated ones to burn the incense go out of the sanctuary for thou hast tres trespassed neither shall it be for thine honor from the Lord God <clears throat> he probably went to the priest the priest told him no you know and he did it himself anyway then Uzzah was wroth and had a censer in his hand to burn incense and while he was wroth with the priest the leprosy even rose up to his forehead before the priest in the house of the Lord from beside the incense altar. And Azariah, the chief priest, and all the priests looked upon him, and behold, he was leprous from his forehead, in his forehead, and they thrust him out of the, from hence. Yea, he himself hasted also to go out, because the Lord had smitten him. And Uzzah the king was a leper until the day of his death. So he's quarantined for sure. And dealt in and dwelt in a several house being a leper, for he was cut off from the house of the Lord. And Jotham his son was over the king's house and judging the people of the land. Now the rest of the acts of Uzzah, first and last, 
did Isaiah the prophet, the son of Am Amos, wrote, wrote about him some more. So Uzzah slept with his fathers, and they buried him with his fathers in the field of the burial, which belonged to the kings, for they said, He is a leper, and Jotham his son reigned in his stead. Okay, chapter 27. Um, Jotham's reigning well, prospers, he's subdues the Amorites, his reign and death, Azza succeeds him. Now Jotham was 20 and 5 years old when he began his reign, and he reigned 16 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was also Jerashah, the daughter of Zadduk. Now there's got to be a reason why our Lord is telling us all of these names and the mother's names, so that we will actually understand where Jesus is lineage comes from i think that this, that's probably one of the reasons why and he did that which was right in the sight of the lord according to all that his fathers Uzzah did howbeit he entered not into the temple of the lord and the people did yet corruptly he built the high gate of the house of the lord and on the wall of of fell he built much Moreover, he built cities in the mountains of Judah, the forests. He built castles and towers. He fought also with the king of the Amorites and prevailed against them. And the children of Ammon gave him the same year a hundred talents of silver, 10,000 measures of wheat and 10,000 of barley. And so much did the children of Ammon pay unto him both the second, both the second year and the third. And Jotham became mighty because he prepared his ways before the Lord his God. Now the rest of the acts of Jotham and all his wars and his ways, lo, are they not written in the book of the kings of Israel and Judah? For he was five and twenty years old when he began to reign, and he reigned sixteen years in uh, Jerusalem. Jotham slept with his fathers. They buried him in the city of David, and Hazaz, his son, reigned in his stead. Okay, I'm going to stop there, and I will continue the next video and try to clear my throat a little bit. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. It's so good to be reading the Bible again. Love you guys. I hope you're all well, and I do keep you in my prayers. Okay, bye-bye.